YouTube couples generally get a bad rap, and most of the times it's deserved. But in the case of these two morons, it's especially deserved. I mean, these two might just be the dumbest two people on YouTube to have ever decided to post their own content. I mean, imagine coming together with your wife and saying, hey, how about that insurance fraud we're doing? Why don't we just vlog it and post it? And, you know, maybe we can monetize it, see how many views we could get. Yeah, basically, that's what they did. These two idiots posted 162 videos of themselves committing insurance fraud. I mean, just take a look at this video. The audio is copyrighted, but don't worry, I'll fill you in. I was told I stopped abruptly. I really love how oblivious he is in showing a video of himself coming to an abrupt stop and saying, they said I came to an abrupt stop. Just pointing to the video for some reason. I thought that part's very like comedic gold. I don't know how someone could be so like oblivious to their own actions, but yeah, here we are. That guy ended up being found responsible for that accident by his insurance company and is actually now facing child endangerment charges because he was stupid enough to be causing these dangerous accidents while in the car with his child. Yeah, obviously not the smartest guy. Just take a look at some of this guy's finest work. Here, he almost mulls a family of five for insurance money. Like, maybe I'm stupid, but I don't even know which car he was trying to crash into in that video. And I also don't know how stupid you have to be to try to get T-boned by a pickup truck. So maybe he was just trying to get T-boned by the other car. But then again, the other car wasn't small. Also, he almost killed whoever was in that Toyota. Like, had that truck not swerved out the way, he could have killed a family of five. So I think three years for this guy is like a slap on the wrist. Let alone doing this stupid shit while his child is in the vehicle with him. This guy should... At the very least, get like an attempted murder charge. Just throw the book at this guy. This guy should never be able to drive again. I think just charging him with insurance fraud is like nothing. It's literally nothing. This guy needs to be in prison. Like he should never be on our roads again. Like at least if you're going to do it, be good at it. Because he sucks at it. I Like I don't get it. Is that a signature maneuver? And then he posts it. Like he does that and then he posts it. And I'm crazy to think that this guy's not attempting murder. He, like, that's the second time we saw two cars almost hit each other head on. So this guy could get a paycheck. Like, this guy's a hitman for hire, if you think about it. He's getting paid by insurance companies to kill people. Come on. And three years? Three years is a slap on the wrist for this guy. If this guy ever gets out again, he should never touch a steering wheel. He should never touch the door handle of a car. This guy should be locked inside a prison cell and only be able to play Mario Kart. Never again should this guy be on the sidewalks of America. No. And here he is doing it again. Luckily, there's no car in the oncoming lane because the oncoming lane is only one lane. There's nowhere the car would be able to swerve like the other cars did. I, just, I don't understand how somebody could be so reckless and careless to everything and everybody around them. I mean, this guy literally is in jail now for three years. It should be more if you ask me, but he's in jail for three years. He's not going to see his wife. He's not going to see his kids for three years. His wife is in jail for 90 days, if I'm correct, and three years of probation. The kids are probably gone. Like, you are, you are, neither of you dipshits deserve custody of your children because you guys endangered their lives, let alone the lives of all the people on the video. The random people who have nothing to do with you. You almost killed them so you could come up $10,000. You know how many ways there is to make money? And then you're posting these. You have enough videos on your YouTube channel to make a compilation like those ones in Russia. And what? What, what did you think was going to happen? Did you think you were going to get ad revenue or oh, double money? You're going to double $10,000? No, that's not how it works. You're an idiot. Like You're risking all these people's lives so you can make a little bit of money. You don't deserve to have your freedom, at least not until you understand that there's there's people around you and their lives matter to you. You left your kid without parents. You left your wife without a husband. You, you're you gone. You're stupid. And that's not to discredit whatever hard time he might have been going through. You know, he maybe he really needed money. But you don't get money by just putting every single other person around you in a super shitty situation where either their husband is in jail now or their dad is in jail now or their kid just died in a car accident because some guy was trying to come up with a little bit of money. You'd be better off buying like one of those TikTok 
drop shipping courses or day trading courses where they're all just copy paste it from each other and actually just trying whatever they're teaching, like legitimately just trying it. Because at least at the end of the day, you wouldn't have legal fees that you'd have to pay. You wouldn't have three years of missed income, you, you know? Also, when you go to jail, you know, you're not paying rent. Your credit score takes a shit. You're not paying your mortgage. You're not paying your car bill. You're, nothing. Nothing. Nothing's getting paid. You, you come out with basically zero credit. Trust me. Anyways, guys, that's it for today. Don't film yourselves doing crimes. Don't do crimes in general. If you do film yourselves doing crimes, I'm going to post you on the channel. Peace. Actually, that sounds like free promo. I might not post you. If, if it's good, I might post you. Peace. Hold on, brother. We ain't done yet. We're getting swole. Chicka be da do da do do. Chicka be da do da do. Chicka be da dee da do da. I'm curling 20 pounds on my neck, boy.